in every aspect of basketball. There's a thing called rhythm. A rhythm to win the game. All-star center Demantas Sabanis is piling up some big numbers. Reserve forward Doug McDermott is getting on the act too. While Sabanis led the Pacers with 25 points and 11 rebounds, and McDermott provided a spark with 18 points and 9 rebounds off the bench in a 119-99 victory over the Cleveland Cavaliers on Thursday. It's the fourth time in five games that McDermott has scored in double digits. He hit three three-pointers as the Pacers were 16 of 35 from long range because opponents are wary of his three-point shooting and have adjusted defending him accordingly, that's provided more opportunities to drive to the rim. McDermott said, coming into the year, I wanted to be as aggressive as possible, I'm going to keep doing my thing, and hopefully we can keep this thing rolling. Unquote. All-star guard Victor Oladipo hit four three-pointers, Victor Oladipo said, even though 2020 has been tough, find your triumph, at the end of the day, we're all blessed to see 2021. Unquote. Sabanis, the 6'11 center who usually does most of his work inside, made both of his three-point tries and shot 10 of 14 overall. The NBA's first Eastern Conference Player of the Week also had 11 rebounds. Two days after blowing a 17-point third-quarter lead in a home loss to Boston, the Pacers pulled away again after halftime to take a 20-point advantage into the fourth quarter. Pacers coach Nate Bjorkgren pointed to defense. Indiana playing seven of its first nine at home, improved to 4-1. Shooting guard Colin Sexton led the Cavaliers with 28 points, and point guard Darius Garland added 21. Cleveland was 12 of 23 on three-pointers in the first of six straight road games. The Cavs are 3-2. Cavaliers coach J.B. Bickerstaff had an extended post-game meeting to express his displeasure in how tentative his team played at times. Things are easy when they're good, Bickerstaff said things become more difficult when it's hard. That was the message to our guys. We have to do things decisively. You just can't be hesitant." Unquote. TJ Warren missed his first start due to a sore left foot. Nate Bjorkren said, they're figuring it out, TJ wants to play so bad. He wants to be out there. That's the kind of guy he is. That's why I love him. They're going to keep monitoring it. Unquote. And that's all for this video, please don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing. It will be appreciated.